What's going on guys, it's Vinyl, and for today's video I'm going to be showcasing and reviewing this banana pudding tain from Breakwater Treatment and Wellness. I hope you're having an amazing day or evening, whichever one it is at the time, and I hope you enjoy this video. Banana pudding tain is a gorgeous indicalining strain bred by Swamp Boy Seeds. Swamp Boy Seeds took a female banana OG plant bred by the famous grower Oregon Kids and crossed it with a GMO Triangle Kush Skunk male plant. Just look at how frosty this nug is. Breakwater really did an excellent job at growing this strain. Earlier in the video, I had said that it's an indica leaning strain. And the reason for me saying that is because banana OG is a cross of OG Kush and banana. So banana is an indica and OG Kush is a hybrid. So that's mostly where it gets its hybridness from, if that makes sense. Now, GMO is an indica dominant cross of Girl Scout cookies and Chemdog. And Triangle Kush is a straight indica originating from Florida named after the cities Jacksonville, Miami, and Tampa. So, the majority of this strain is entirely indica-leaning. Its effects really do reflect that as well. But I do want to say that when you're first smoking or vaping this strain, its immediate effects are really just an uplifting euphoric high and that really comes from the banana OG. The snug is gorgeous and huge and honestly I've, I saved it just for the video, I've been dying to vape it. I'll do that in just a little bit. I'm going to show you guys some b-roll of this beautiful, beautiful nugs here and I'll get into the rest of the video and uh, give you my review. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Totally forgot to mention that the strain's THC percentage is 26.35, putting it, you know, pretty high compared to the other strains Breakwater has to offer other than Kush 4. And, uh, you know, here's a glimpse of my face towards the end of the video, so if you're interested in watching me get that mangled, stick around. <laughs> I wanted to give a nice quick last look at the beautiful nugs that we're going to be smoking on here. And also a nice close up of my thumb. In case you were wondering what my thumb looks like. So, alright man. Uh, this is always my favorite part of the video. Where I get to just chill out and be, you know, the hard part of memorizing the strange genetics is over. Um, oh yeah, I haven't made my review video for the volcano yet, so cheers to uh, the first time my volcano's being seen on my channel, and um, shit, I forgot, yeah, so, um, in the last video that I had posted recently, I had said, or I was in the middle of setting everything up, uh, I brought, you know, the recording over to the couch here, and, and yeah, since then I've just been decorating, and um, yeah, I hope you guys like the background. I'm gonna get right into vaping this banana pudding tape. I'm so excited. When I turn the volcano on and the hot air is first going over the bud, I like to waft it. Give myself a nice sense of what that smells like. And honestly, it's um, it's it's really faintly like banana, like just ever so faintly. Um, even even my girlfriend Angie agreed with me on that. And, um, 
Yeah, she, and I mentioned that because she typically never does. Like, I'll show her like a blueberry strain. She'll be like, that smells like weed. Um, yeah, no, this definitely has like a slight banana smell. I will say I am a tad bit disappointed in the fact that like when you open the jar, it really doesn't reek as much as you'd expect it to from how frosty and like amazing it looks. Um, I'm not disappointed at all, I guess, really to say. Like I shouldn't really say I'm disappointed. I just, you know, you just expected it to smell a bit more. Beyond that though, it tastes great. It's a knockout strain. A really heavy hit. Cheers, guys. Oh, wow. I'm vaping this at around 370, 374 uh, Fahrenheit. Which is relatively low. I'm just trying to get flavor, so you're probably not seeing much vapor here. Oh. Honestly, it tastes just like like an herbal banana. Like, and when I say herbal, I don't mean like herbal as in like you know weedy herbal. I mean like like kitchen herb banana flavor. I don't know. I expected it to have this skunkiness, this funkiness because of the GMO crossed in it, but really it seems like that banana OG really takes it over. And the GMO and the triangle Kush skunk is really just an undertone. Oh wow. I mean the banana OG was the female, so that does make sense. Wow, that really... That tastes amazing. I'm already getting this like slight euphoric non-fill, non-fill, fill, filling me, this euphoria filling me. It's a really inebriating strain. That's another thing I saw uh, people on Reddit posting specifically about the uh, Brig water batches of this banana pudding tape. People were saying, you know, it's like, it's really inebriating. It's like stupefying almost. And um, I definitely would agree with that. But really the main effects for me about this strain, or of this strain, are, you know, the euphoric onset, um, your overall, like, giggliness and just silliness. Like, you know, like laughing more at Family Guy sort of thing. It just makes you really euphoric and really brightens your mood, but at the same time, kind of inebriates you. Not in the same sense that alcohol does, but I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Like, I guess not in the same way as Sativa does, but in almost a similar way. So maybe that's why it's not entirely an indica, because it definitely does have that head, head effect, and then over time, the sweepiness onsets. Starting to taste more like candy. The second bag around, the first bag was really like an herbal banana flavor. But it's definitely tasting a bit sweeter now. Wow. That's really good. And it's definitely starting to hit me now. I'm, I'm getting this like mellowed out yet. You know, really really happy mood like I'm just focusing on what I'm about to do after this like what games I'm about to play that's why I'm wearing the PlayStation hat uh, shout out to the PlayStation 5 reveal that happened around the time that I was filming this it was like just the other day wow that's so great yeah I really reserve the banana pudding tain for like a late night stream because it really puts me at, not immediately, but really over like an hour and a half span of time if I have a couple of bags, uh, one after another, another, especially like how I'm doing right now. I'll get really tired, I'll have trouble finishing a movie. So this is definitely something me and my girlfriend will save for, you know, 
Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night. So like a night when I had a bad day and I'm just trying to go to sleep early, I'll pull this out at like 8 and I'll be in bed at night. And that usually never happens. Another effect of this strain for me, I'm going to turn this up to around uh, let's see, 390. Another effect of the strain for me, and um, I know a lot of other people have shared this being a similar experience from the strain as well. I don't know why I'm worried of that, it's so freaking weird. Freak. Alright, um, <laughs> so it gives you the munchies pretty hard, man. Like, I've gone through like bags of Doritos after vaping the mess, obviously, so if I put on some weight, don't be surprised, <laughs> I've been munching out. Um, it's it, it's great for just, you know, gaming. It makes everything funner. Um, I, I guess all meat's good for gaming in a sense, unless it puts you out immediately, which this doesn't. So that's why it's good for gaming, watching movies. But you, you, with movies, you probably won't get through the movie though. Like, especially if you're vaping this consistently around the beginning of the movie, you're not going to get through the entire film properly. Um, with that, I've pretty much talked about the flavor. Breakwater is batch specifically if you're an NJ local. It, it does really, you know, have a faint smell. That's a little disappointing. I don't want to use that word, but I can't think of another one, so, so I'm using it. Um, people have said that the rosin comes out really dry and flaky from it, and it really lacks, you know, like, smell as well. But overall, they say the rosin uh, produced from it's really, you know, strong, heavy hitting, like this is. Like, dude, I'm freaking lit right now. And, um,. Yeah, it's, it, it's kind of a sticky bud, not too sticky, but it is covered in tricone, so I can see why it would be a heavy yield there. People have said... Yeah, I said it. Right. People have said that it, it is a good yield strain as well. This is at 390. Oh, we have a lot of vapor. This is... I don't know how I'm going to get through this video. I haven't gotten this high in the video in a while, so apologies for that. That, that is kind of what this channel is all about, so... Woo! Damn, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I, I was thinking about um, getting those little humidifying packs, those little moisture packs, and putting it in the jar and seeing if it smells more. Um, I don't have any on hand, so I will go order some. Uh, I guess I'll make a review video on, like, a sh you know, a, a jar of the same batch, one with a humidifying packet and one without. I think that would be pretty cool. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see that. because I've never used them and I, I want to see what, you know, effects they really have on a jar of a relatively dry uh, batch of weed like this. Holy shit, it's, it's all, it's, it's hitting me like a rock right now, honestly. Everything is brighter so I have that like really euphoric, um, high feeling. I definitely want to say banana pudding beans to become quickly one of my favorites in New Jersey. Um, I know that Super Sherbert was like really high up there for me. And that's because it's really sticky and really stinky. And I love that. But it, although that one tests at like 32%, I believe it was. And this one's only 26%, which I forgot to mention. And I'm going to have to dub back in the B-roll if that's all right. Um, this one hits a lot harder. I think it's the terpenes that really just hit you. Or give you that like super inebriated effect that I'm talking about because I don't know. Otherwise, it just, I can't think of a reason. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do 
one more bag at a higher test. Let me take this off. Alright, now I'm gonna grab a water pipe to kind of cool the vapor down a bit more. The volcano does have relatively cool vapor, but it does get hot once you're getting into it. I think I'm at around 420 now, 425, so. Alright. And I'm back. So this is a piece I haven't shown on this channel yet. And that's because I did get it relatively recently from my good friend on Instagram. Um, I don't know if he wants me to shout him out, but I'm gonna shout him out and cut this part out of the video if he doesn't want me to. But go A and J on Instagram, and you can go check out his content. He's a really close friend of mine. Um, I met him through work, and you know we were coworkers, and then kind of had this like relative interest in cannabis, and we became awesome friends. And he actually gifted me this for Christmas, right around Christmas time. And this is a piece by uh, Dabber Jones. I'm not gonna spend too much time showcasing it. In this video, I'll do like a separate video, but this is a piece that I've been using for the volcano bags, as well as concentrates, as you can see, because it fits the volcano uh, mouthpiece perfectly. But I just wanna show the function before I go use it. This is called a power pump by Dabber Jones. And yeah, I did get a little bit in my mouth just there. Uh, I have the water a little high, but I really love this piece's function. I'm really thankful that he hooked me up with this piece. I mean, it's like, you know, it quickly became one of my favorite pieces, especially function-wise. It's one of my favorites. I totally turned that on without being ready for a bag, uh, for putting on a bag. Like, and wow, look at that vapor in the bag. Yeah, I really overpacked this uh, filling chamber for this video, and that's why I'm totally lit. But I hope that you guys got you know a relatively good idea about the strain. I you know showcased, we talked about its genetics, said that it was intercalating, said that its flavor was you know relatively like a banana. Now it's kind of like a sweeter banana. Um, maybe banana bread comes to mind for a lot of people. And uh, I think that's a good example. And it's just a really heavy industry. I talked about its, you know, rosin outcomes. I think that's some cool background information. And let me know what else you guys would like to see in these train reviews, because honestly, they are influenced by you. So uh, let me know. Cheers. I never even feel that vapor um, when I'm inhaling it because it's so cool after going through a water pipe. If you guys have a volcano, I'd highly recommend doing this. This is just a 14 millimeter joint. I'm super mellowed out, super happy. I, I like, I'd go on a walk right now, I'm really chill, but I just, I, I just know that, you know, in about an hour, I'm gonna just wanna sit, maybe sit on a swing outside, that'd be cool. It's a nice day out. Hold up your side note. I miss smoking outside, man. I wanna do some videos where I'm smoking outside. That's really uh, all, all we could do back in the day when we were younger, you know? So, this is a luxury being able to smoke in here, so uh, I, want, I want to bring it back to the roots. Cheers, again. Ooh. Yeah, when you do the water pipe method, it really sneaks up on you. Like, you take in like raises and huge hits. And like being surprised at the amount of vapor. At least I'm seeing on the exhale. I don't know if you guys are seeing it well at all. Ooh. 
That is amazing. That's about it. Um, it. It really retains flavor all the way through. That last bag had like, I guess, a little bit less flavor than the other ones, but I still taste like a little bit of sweetness. Not any banana anymore. That really kind of uh, diminished by the third bag. I don't know how many balloons I have. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it as always. I love making these videos for you guys. And I look forward to making more videos for you guys now that it's warm. And um, cheers.